<laughs> All right, we gotta throw some advertisements out, okay? All right. Is anything coming out of your vagina? I don't know. Okay. We could ask the nurse. Yeah. yeah. I it think might, she said there was some. Yeah. It might take some time to slow down. So. Yeah. So, all right. Well, we gave you an ostomy bag. Yes, I heard. Yeah. Have you gotten to look at it? No. Can we look at it now? No. Okay. <laughs> so some people like to name their ostomies, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes when they like them, it's a nice name, and if they don't like them, it's kind of vulgar. Oh, oh sorry. Oh. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. Yeah, looks good. Now, did you take laxatives at home? Very seldom. Very seldom. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Mucilex, though, most days, right? Is that considered a laxative? Which one? Mucilex. Mucilex? You can just drink the... I don't think what? so. Didn't you take um, a Mucilex or something every day? Mucilex? Mucilex. Oh, I did take, yes. It's that stuff you pour in water and... No. No? It was a capsule. Oh, it was? Was that a laxative? Maybe I'm mistaken, because I don't live with her, so. All right. huh. uh -huh. But I heard from the family she has constipation a lot. Okay. Yeah. Well. Would you say that's true, Mom? That you are constipated sometimes? Yes. Okay. Well, we'll give you a day and see how things kind of open up, okay? See if your bowels start working, okay? Uh, you can eat and drink what you want, okay? You can eat and drink what you want, okay? Okay. But we'll, we're going to avoid raw fruits and vegetables for right now, okay? So things you can cut with a fork. Okay? Okay. Um, and we'll have you work with physical therapy and start making a plan to get you out of the hospital, okay? Wonderful. Okay. We have to talk about a couple of things though, okay? Number one is the blood thinner, okay? Because you have blood clots in both your legs and one in your lungs. Which is, how, how does that happen? Well, you fell and broke your leg and that increases your risk of blood clots. And then I heard you weren't moving around that much since that happened. And that can raise your risk for blood clots. You weren't outside running marathons after they fixed your leg? Never. Never. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't run one either. <laughs> I'm lucky to get maybe a half mile. So. Um, so those raised your risk for blood clots, okay? So we have to look at, do we keep you on a heavy-duty blood thinner? which has the risk of if you fall and hit your head causing a big head bleed or do we look at not doing the heavy blood thinner but has the risk of these clots spreading and going to your lungs which can also get you so there's kind of risks on either side i don't know the right answer for you but i'm happy to talk to you and your family and we can talk more about it and see what we think we should do. Does that sound reasonable? Okay. Part two is antibiotics. Okay? Because you do have an infection in your pelvis from what was draining into your uterus and draining into your vagina. Right. And we didn't go stirring any of that up when we were in your surgery yesterday. We didn't see any obvious pus, so we kind of left things alone. So um, the question is, how long do we need to keep you on antibiotics? Um, because we couldn't do anything to 
right. take the infection away. And you know, antibiotics can help with infection, but also there's risk with antibiotics <laughs> because sometimes you can get antibiotic-associated diarrhea, which can also cause you to get sick. Mm. So we'll need to talk about the risk versus the benefits and decide how long we want to keep you on antibiotics. Okay. Is the C. diff gone? Uh, she, didn't, she didn't have it. Okay. Yeah. She didn't have it. Yeah. Did she have it ever? I don't think so. Sometimes mm. it's indeterminate, so we do a more specific test and that doesn't show it. Mm. If she wow. had it, there'd be signs up on the door and we'd all be wearing oh, okay. gowns and everything. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So, wow. But one of the risks with prolonged antibiotics is you can get C. diff and then some of the bacteria infections, like urinary tract infections, can become resistant to antibiotics, which sure. makes them harder to treat. Mm -hmm. So, there's risks on both sides. Does she still have a UTI? Um, so, I mean, they test her for it, and we, you know, we, we add on some antibiotics, but um, a lot of times what happens is because when a person is draining stool out of their vagina, and because the vagina and the urethra are very oh, close okay. to each other, sometimes it goes out in one and goes out the other yeah, one. Of so, Hopefully, by having this ostomy bag, it reduces the chances of her getting further urinary tract yeah. infection. Good. So that's one of the benefits there. Okay. So, Did she just get an infection because she was so impacted? Um, it's unclear because when I went yesterday to try and see if there was a big hard stool ball there, there was nothing there. But huh. I could feel that the hole that connected her rectum to her vagina was probably about that big. Whoa. Wow. It was huge. So, wow. you know... I don't have a great answer for that because it didn't look like it just happened the other day. It, you know, for it to be that big, I'm concerned that maybe it's been there for a little bit. It happened before the fall, even or no? I don't know. Okay. Don't know. So, so we have some things to talk about. We don't have to make a decision today, and we have time to talk about it. But we will need to figure it out because my hope is to get out of the hospital in the next few days, and I want to make sure we all have a plan and understand the risks and the benefits of that plan and make sure that we're respecting your wishes. <laughs> That's a lot of information to digest. 